what is up guys, Dr. Fate here, and I have something that you guys have been waiting for, yeah, background time, that's right, um, yeah, so it's, I'm going to put a couple of these that are in the video, I'm definitely going to put this one out, um, I may even put the green one out, and I think I already put that one out already, so let's see what we have. Right, um, yeah, so I'll put this. I'll put this one out as well once I finish um, simplifying them up because uh, they're really messy right now. <laughs> just took me a quite a long while to make some of these ones, and it's a fucking there. It's not this one, and I'll give you guys that one as well. And I don't know if you guys want that, but I can give you that as well. I'm not, I have no like use for these ones anymore. So hope you guys do enjoy these ones. This one will be up first because I have already done it. And I gotta say, thank you very much, guys, for the subs. You know, 500 subs, channel is growing very good. I know you guys are loving the emblems and stuff, and backgrounds, and you know, we've got Dead Space 3 coming out tomorrow over here in the UK, so we'll be doing our playthrough tonight. It's gonna be insane. Um, yeah, 1k subs, and that's when we're gonna start doing our first competition, guys. Um, don't forget to check out the form, which is somewhere around here. Oh, right here. So I can figure out, like, you know, what you guys really want. Uh, just a couple more things before we get into the backgrounds. Um, can you guys go and check out um, Mortman TV? He does live podcasts. He talks about real good stuff on YouTube. He teaches, uh, teaches you how to get, like, you know, get well known and things that you should probably try and do to help you save your channel. And, you know, he's, he talks some real general stuff. And the people he brings onto the show are very good as well. So do check those guys out also. So, um, yeah, back onto the background business. Where are we now? Ooh, look, Dead Space free, man. Look at that. I'm getting ready for this shit. But yeah, we don't have time for that right now. So, what we have here, guys, is the background most of you have been waiting for. I have changed the original box. So, you now have four, like, little video placements in there that I put. I mean, you can change pretty much all the links. Um... Although there's there's two there's at least two links I don't want you guys to do because you know it's a bit unfair so I'll tell you guys about that in a sec. Um, where are we now? Uh, this is just a gradient map, so obviously this would just edit the colors a bit, change them up. Don't forget you guys can mess with the opacity to bring it down. Whoa. Okay, I, I did something wrong there. I'm not quite sure what's going. Oh, I'm just changing the opacity of everything. I didn't click the layer. But yeah, you can edit the opacities of the gradient maps. It gives it different effects, you know. It's a lot you can do, so don't even mess around with that. Um, this is just the offset that I made for the bottom, so it fades out to black. You can, you don't have to have it if you want it, but I left it as leave it there, so that's up to you guys. And here we are, getting into the thing. I really must credit this guy for this template. I keep forgetting to do that, so I will go and find that guy that gave this, well, gave this out to everyone. So yeah, All right. Use layer one to make banner. Right. So when you guys want to do make a banner, um, what you want to do is uh, this is only to link it. It's not literally just to upload it to YouTube. What you do is you select this here, this layer one, hold Control and left click there on the box, and what the little thumbnail. That's what that's called. And you want to click Edit and press Copy Merge or Shift Control and Z, and go to File New. Um, pretty much oh crap did that wrong but yeah when you do that you'll make a box just the right side you paste it in there save it and then you, you upload it to a website which is on my channel which should be here link your banner click that and you can go through steps there if you guys don't know how to do it I could do another video but there are plenty on YouTube so please do check that out um where are we where are we where are we guys right so yeah background um, got a little vignette. This came with the template, the like YouTube template, the default thing. Uh, that's up to you guys whether you want to use that or not. Uh, and got a little top menu bar. Don't know if you guys want that. It's just a, it's where the menu originally was. But to be honest, it was a bit dumb having links right at the top. So it's up to you guys whether you want to change that or not, get rid of it, or put something in there. I don't know what you guys want to do with that. Got your video placements. Easiest way to get your pictures inside there. Because I haven't quite done a masking thing. Kind of forgotten how to do that to be honest. So I'm going to have to get back in touch with Photoshop. It's been a while. Uh, where are we? Video placements. Right. So open up this 
Is that it? No, that's not it. What is that? Oh, that's just a, like a little, there's like a little glossy thing in it. You can't really see it because I turn your passive down too much, mate. Alright, here we go. So, what you do is open up group 3 inside video placements. And as you can see, you have that. Now, if you want to get the image right on top, all you need to do is hold down control, click that. But obviously, wait, sorry, paste your image first, line it up, then hold down control and click there. And what you want to do is right click and press select inverse. Now, say you had your image here, you press the delete button or backspace or whatever it is, and it will erase the image and leave what's inside that selection tool. And that's pretty much how you do that. That's quite simple, you know, it's not too hard to understand. I mean, even if you find it hard, you don't need to have it like that. You can just change it up anyhow you want. Uh, what do we have here? For that put in there. I think these are the original things I use. There's, there's some things here you might be able to use. I can't remember exactly what this is. It's quite a couple of weeks ago that I did this now. Um, so, moving on. Banner design. That's that. The actual frame that I've done. With the glow, you guys can change that up. Whatever I do, what the fuck you want to do with it. Um, what do we have? The logo here. Yeah, this is the main part. I mean, in the video, I've got the text here, text here, text here, or whatever. But the, my logo is there. You can remove that if you want. It's in there somewhere. Um, change the text clearly to like what your channel is, and then give you a little slogan or something there. Uh, extra optional. What's that? All oh, right. So I've done a the little extra design. I mean, it's not really much of a big deal. You can get rid of that, I guess. And then you have the text links. Now what I've done in here is I've just left everything pretty much stock as it is. And you can just remove, change, whatever, and blah, blah, blah. But the ones that say, do not change, please do not change, please. I mean, right, it can go both ways, right? You can either leave it as free background, yeah? You either leave that there and link that to the video that you're watching right now. Or you can remove that but then you definitely have to leave the um, designer one, which is this one. And, you know, it's only fair, guys, that you link it back to my channel so that people can come and see it and get the background themselves. I mean, it's a free background now. So, you know, you guys have unlocked it for everyone else. So please do help me out. I'm trying to get somewhere on YouTube by helping other people. And, you know, you guys will be helping me as well. So please don't change those. I uh, mean, by all means, change with the rest of the icons, delete that, remove that, whatever the hell you want to do. Go mad, as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, just enjoy it. Experiment. That's what Photoshop's there for, man. I've done some real good stuff. Now, this is optional with the extra design. I mean, you, might, you guys might want to put your own patterns on top of the lines. Or you could remove the lines. And don't forget, you can change the colors. So it doesn't have to be stock black. You know, you can mess around with it, find nice colors that work with it. Huh? Pretty sure the dull and like light colors would pretty much work with this, you know. So, experiment, guys. Hope you guys like this one. And um, I will clean up the other two that I said I'll put in as fast as I can, and shortly they will be linked up. So, yeah, do enjoy, guys. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I will kill you. I will kill you if you see anyone with this on their background, yeah. That's from me. Yeah? You see that? That's me. You see any of this? It's definitely mine. Alright? So do enjoy. Peace out, man! Yeah!